Now we move to a little lady with a big dream and it's been generating so much support online regarding her academic pursuits. We had to have her on the show um, to see what we can do to help. Yashika Farron has been accepted to the prestigious Howard University and she's working to make sure she is in Washington DC come September. She will be, but guess what? She's going to need our help to do it. Good morning, Yashika. Morning. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Um, before we get into the journey, I want to introduce you for, to, to our viewers. Um, you're a student at Manchester High. Tell me a little bit about Yashika. Um, well, as you just said, I am a student at Manchester High School. I've been attending the school for seven years. I'm in upper six mm -hmm. currently. Um, I'm hardworking. I'm determined and I just have a dream that I really, really want to pursue. Yeah, nine grade ones, seven of them straight A profiles and a grade two income studies at the grade level, at the Cape level. You have four grade ones in Cape. So you're, you're, yes. you're super brilliant as far as I can see. <laughs> and you balance that with playing basketball. Yes, I have been the senior manager of the boys' basketball team for four years, going strong. I've guided them in winning three, four central championships um, over the years. Yeah. And it's really, it's really it's a blessing to be their manager and just balancing it. It, is, it does get hard sometimes, but what, whatever you put your mind to, you can achieve. Mm -hmm. And so I just... I just put myself out there and just get everything done. When well, you manage the, the boys team, but you're the captain of the girls team as well. Yes, I was the captain of the girls team. Mm -hmm. You also do a lot of community work. You're involved in, is it, is it the key club? The high school key club? Yes. I, yeah, I'm currently the vice president of the Manchester High School key club. I'm also the vice president of the Manchester High School Students Council. As well as, the, as well as the vice president of the Sixth Firm Association. And you participate in several environmental projects. So, so I'm putting all of that into perspective because I want people to understand that not only are you academically brilliant, but that you've been contributing to your school community and to the Manchester community at large. So now you're heading to Howard. Talk to me about it. You've received a tuition scholarship, but it needs a little more in us all. Yes. <laughs> um, I was elated when I found out that I was even awarded a post-tuition scholarship to Howard. Um, I'm <laughs> beyond excited and overwhelmed by the amount of support that I've been receiving online. Mm -hmm. It is amazing what Jamaica can do when they do come together and decide that, hey, we're going to support this person. And I'm super grateful, just extremely grateful for all the support that I've been giving. All right, so you got some support, but we still want a little more because we want to make sure that you're on that plane heading to Howard. Um, what are you trying to raise? How much and, and how will it assist you on this journey to Howard? So the goal of the GoFundMe is $21,000. Um, it, it is outlined in, on the GoFundMe page how um, cost is broke, broken down, broken down. Um, we, we want to, the money is being raised for room and board, mm -hmm. um, meal plan, any transportation, the flight, the visa application fee, the service fee, um, the just personal expenses for like school supplies, clothing, because it does get cold there a lot. Yeah. And, you know, the temperature yeah. difference is different from Jamaica. I mean, we're tropical mm -hmm. and, you know, it's above the equator and everything. So all the fees come together to $21,000. Yeah. And, and why I ask is because when I looked at what the fees were for, they're for essentials. It's not Yashika saying, yeah. listen, I'm going to Howard and I need a little pocket money. It's about housing. It's about meals. It's about fees. It's about books. Um, it's transportation because once you're on the Howard campus, which is huge, um, if she needs to go on field trips and other things that she needs to do. So it's going to be a lot. Um, 
a lot of it's been covered and it's now our turn to support this young lady. What are you going to Howard to pursue, Yashika? I plan to major in biology pre-med slash farm. All right. So listen, we, we, could, we could do with another doctor in Jamaica and pretty soon coming out of COVID. So there's a GoFundMe and you're asking us to go on and to support. How do we find it and how do we support? So the link is all over social media. It is on my social medias at Akishe, that is A-K-E-I-S-H-A-Y on Instagram and the same handle on Twitter. The link is all over social media. How you support is if you don't have it to donate, just share it. It takes a, less than a minute to press the share button. And so someone out there can see it and support the cause. All right. So tell us again. Give us that handle again. That is A-K-E-I-S-H-A-Y on Instagram and Twitter. On Instagram and Twitter. I'm looking for it, you know. A K. <laughs> E Y A K E I A K E I Come again, Yashika, because someone will just write it down. So let's tell us as many times as we need to hear it. A K E I S H A Y. It's really Yashika spelled backwards, but the S ah, H. <laughs> I got you. Found it. So listen, you go on. I'm trying to find where it says. And then you see it here, look here, help her get to it. So guys, just go to her page and you will see it. I'm on it now and it tells you, help her get to Howard University. See it here? Donate now. Donate now. Make sure you donate now. So she's Yashika Ferron, Manchester High. Listen guys. This young lady needs your help. And if you've ever been in a position where you say, Lux, if one person could have helped me, you know, what could have happened? Um, you can be that one person. And there's no, there's no saying you have to give this or you have to give that. Whatever you can give towards making sure this young lady gets to Howard University, please do so. Very proud of you, young lady. Um, do well at Howard <laughs> University because we know you're going to get there and you're going to get there comfortably. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you so much for having me on the show. <laughs> yes, she I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, my love. Yashika Ferron of Manchester High um, talking to us there about her journey to Howard University and how you can help to make that a reality. On the other side of the break, innovative ways to celebrate class of 2020. We soon come.